I got piss shivers right now. I'm just. I'm just letting you guys know that. We got a piss shiver just before the screen awakened. But anyway, with the death of the concept of the ideal female, in terms of patriarchy and of female's role, dumb Chromex and introverted Aspies, the four channels and the world star is, have both come up with their idea of the ideal life partner that isn't held down by the standards of patriarchy or things of this nature. Instead of the wife, we have the wifey and the waifu. Now explain both of them. Wifey is what the dumb Chromags want. It's what the wannabe thugs want, and not even the thugs, not even like the ghetto people, just the people that aren't as bright, maybe they're more extroverted, maybe they're less afraid of being outgoing, or interested in that. I mean, more interested in that. But regardless, this is what they want. They want a partner in crime. They want a girl that they can go to a strip club with her and they'll both play grab ass with the same chick. They want the chick that's going to be shooting with them, selling drugs with them, Bonnie and Clyde type of stuff, and it's really nasty for a guy like me. And they use the term degenerate as a buzzword, but it would literally be degenerate because it's me going from where I am now to becoming more and more disgusting. Imagine me and this chick both uh, getting high off MDMA together. Or doing something like that. A partner in crime, uh, basically a male thug, a non-disciplined male with the JJ and some boobs. That's about it. That's kind of what the wifey is. The waifu, however, is also not my thing. The waifu is the typical chick you'll see at a, an ASMR video, or what these anime guys all fat to, besides the chick that bitches at them and then they ultimately get together. It's the one that coddles you, basically. A lot of coddling. The waifu is the coddler, and the cuddler too. But those go hand in hand anyway. You can't do... You can coddle without cuddling, but you can't cuddle without coddling. Lots of that. You want the person that's going to... understand them and try to make them feel good all the time. In a very sensitive and... Cody kind of way, which, for a guy like me, I get annoyed by that shit very quickly. If you start doing any of that shit on me, I'm going to, like, push you out, because that's, it, it ain't right. It ain't right for me. So something's off about all that bullshit. For the typical 4 channel that might be them watching his favorite show together, and she somehow likes it, and they can both cuddle under the stars together, watching shit like that. Or something obscure like that. 
But I noticed both of these people kind of want the same thing. They want a means of not initiating any legitimate form of masculinity. You have this macho-ness, and you also have this beta-ness. But you don't have the full package. And what you end up getting is... A watered down, broken idea of what a normal, realistic relationship would be like. Because you have two people with weird expectations that are kind of icky to someone with a western soul. And because they're not getting it, they get feels. Doug's feel now. You got the rise of the light skin nigga. Run of these introverted aspies feel because 4chan has been around for a long ass time. And they want to avoid proper initiation, a proper idea of masculinity, and establishing a proper idea of femininity for a female and they expect a lot of sex in their ideal form of a fake ass female relationship or a fake ass female they want that ideal female so when feminists this nice guy I kind of agree with them partially because the nice guy kind of wants the waifu chick it's gonna watch anime under the stars with them, and then fuck them whenever. No, which will be a coddle fuck. She's not gonna really like it. I don't care what he thinks. And the guy just wants a half-ass partner in crime that's gonna do all the nasty degenerate shit with them. And the actual stuff that's gonna make you a different person than the guy that graduated elementary school or was in kindergarten, that kid. When I think of degenerate, I think of the nice kid that graduated elementary school sitting with his grandma that come middle school, starts selling drugs, come high school, drops out, gradually becomes a worse person than what his potential could lead him to. That's what I think of. And they want a chick that can revel in that with them. And you can see how that wouldn't be unsatisfactory for the chick is where is she going to be with that in the long term? Nowhere. So that world star feel makes no sense for me either. And it was Mr. Wonka 7. I think about that.